Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking motion texture effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. I'm just gonna run with a 4K composition, uh, 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. So press OK. Once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add our text layer. So I'm just gonna write my word. The font that I'm using is called Mission Gothic Black. Um, and I'm just going to align it to the center of my composition. Once I've done that, then the next thing that I need to do is I need to go to to layer, create shapes from text, and then I can get rid of that text layer, just like that. Now we can start to add our effects on here. So the first effect that we're gonna add is the wave warp effect. I'm gonna change the type to circle. I'm gonna change the height to 40 and the width to 200. The direction is going to be 60 degrees and the pinning, I'm gonna change it from the center. So now we're just gonna have the edges kind of uh, moving as well. If you wanna add some more movement, you can change some of these settings just like that. So now once I have that, then the next thing that I can add in here is some Gaussian blur. So I'm just gonna change that to 20. Now it's a little bit blurry, but we can fix that by adding some curves. And I'm just gonna change the channel to alpha. I'm just going to do something like that. So now it's a little bit sharper. And the final effect in here is going to be some roughened edges. So I'm just gonna bump that up to something like 25 or so. And so now I have a little bit of motion on that text and I think that's looking pretty cool. So the next thing that we can do here is we can pre-compose that layer. So if we go to layer pre-compose and if we just call this uh, text main, and then if we go to our project uh, panel and we duplicate that layer, uh, I'm just gonna call this second uh, layer text BG and then I'm gonna drag it down onto my composition. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up text BG, go into the effect controls and change the wave height on that text BG layer to negative 40. So now when you view them both together, you can see that you've got two sets of motion happening. So I think that looks pretty cool, but we're gonna make it look even better. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a background uh, quickly. So I'm just gonna add a solid and I'm just gonna add the fill effect and I'm just gonna change that to black for now. Then once we have that, then I'm gonna go to my text main and I'm gonna add a gradient ramp. And I'm just gonna swap those colors and I'm just gonna bring this one, maybe something like that. And I'll bring the black one over there. We're gonna change this a little bit later. So yeah, just bear with me. And then I'm just gonna copy that since I'm here and put it onto my text BG layer. I'm just gonna swap the colors. We might not even use this because if we're gonna go for the glow background, I'm going to change that to a fill, but we'll see how we go. Once we have that, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my text main layer and then go to layer, layer styles, add some inner glow. And then also I'm gonna go back to layer styles and add some stroke. Now for the stroke, I don't want it to be red. So I'm just gonna change that to black and I'm just gonna increase the size to something around seven, maybe eight, something like that. So I think that looks pretty cool. And so now we have to add the textures and the final effect. So to do that, I'm just gonna create an adjustment layer. And the first thing that I'm gonna do in this adjustment layer is I'm gonna add some CC ball action. And I'm going to change the ball size to let's say 50 and the shading to 100. If you want it more than that, you can play around with some of those settings, but I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a transform effect and I'm going to change the rotation to negative 45 degrees. And I'm just gonna put that above the CC ball action 
Now, we don't want it to be like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate that transform and I'm just gonna put it underneath the CC ball action. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make that a positive 45 degrees and that will bring it all back. So that's looking pretty cool. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some fill in here and I'm gonna change the fill to black. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some solid composite in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some Gaussian blur and I'm gonna probably put that up to about eight. And now to bring it all back, I need to put some CC composite in here. And I'm just gonna change the transfer mode to maybe something like hard light. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, going back to the first uh, gradient ramp on that text layer on the main text layer you can move it around to you know get how much darkness and things like that so I'm probably gonna leave it maybe something like that and for the inner glow while I'm here I'm just gonna change that to let's say white just so it has a white kind of area over there so I think that looks pretty cool. And now we can just kind of dress it up. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to import our texture. So I've just downloaded this texture from Unsplash and I'll leave the link in the descriptions. All right, that's what the texture looks like. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change it to overlay. And so now again, if you go back to your text main uh, effect controls and you start to move the ramp around, then you can see what's actually happening and how much texture you're going to apply. So I'm gonna leave something like that, but you can definitely play around with that. So once you change around your gradient ramp, then the next thing that you can do is go back to your adjustment layer and add a few more effects. So the first one is gonna be post rise time. I'm just gonna change that to 12. And then the next one is gonna be the vignette. And I'm just gonna bump that up. And you probably don't want too much, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of vignette onto that as well. So that's pretty much it for that part of the effect. The other thing that I would add in here is another adjustment layer and I'm just gonna add some noise. And if you bump the noise up to, let's say maybe about 10%, now it's gonna just, you know, put everything together. And the final thing that we can do is, again, if you wanna change it to a color in here. So for example, if you didn't want a gradient ramp effect then you can get rid of the gradient ramp and what we can do is we can put a fill effect in here and then i'm going to go to color hunt and i'm going to pick this uh, orange color over here and i'm going to put that on there so the final thing to add in here is just some glow so if i add some glow and if i change the threshold to let's say 100 and if I change the radius also to about 100 as well and then if I duplicate that and now if I bring down the glow radius to about 30 percent and if I change the intensity to maybe like 0.7 so now you've got some glow on there as well and so that's pretty much it for the effect um so yeah so anyways guys uh, thanks for watching this short tutorial on how to create a motion texture effect using Adobe After Effects. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.